Yeah, I spent uh, nearly a week in Poughkeepsie where uh, it snowed and half the city uh, shut down. It was a really good event. Uh, we talked a little bit about this uh, conference, but what we couldn't talk about was the news. And that that was the a, the IBM Z mainframe goes rack. So what does that mean, right? So since I think 1964, every time that you had to buy an IBM mainframe, it came, you had to buy the entire rack. And that rack wasn't so-called industry standard size, right? Industry standard size, in other words, uh, x86 is 19 inches and uh, you also came with special power requirements so you had to buy the rack and it typically you know came with ibm networking came with ibm ibm storage but for the first time uh, you can buy a single module uh, with ibm z to put in the same rack as you put all of your x86 stuff you can plug it into the same power power plane as you do everything else and this is a this is a big deal so i first of all it removes yet another set of objections why people wouldn't uh adopt uh z but what you get here is you get seven nines of resiliency which there's not a single uh x86 platform out there that can do this you get on system machine learning acceleration with the telem chip uh, you get full-time, all-the-time, accelerated and quantum-safe uh, cryptography based on these blocks on the Telem chip. Sure, you can supersize that with a with a special card. And it runs Linux, Red Hat Linux, and containerized uh, applications. And it does all of this uh, with much lower power uh, for certain applications than any flavor of x86 you can get out there so you can imagine uh you know all the x86 players are talking about consolidation but you know i think i you know ibm could make a play that is consolidating the consolidators which i don't know i like to crap my crack myself up uh, uh every day what i'd love to see ibm do with this opportunity now is come up with an as a service appliance model so for instance we all saw literally the order of magnitude improvement with MongoDB. I'd love to see IBM, its partners, take that MongoDB as a service. You don't even care what the hardware is underneath that. You have SLAs and your developers are doing API-based programs. It doesn't even matter. And quite frankly, the whole what instruction set uh, is it is mattering a lot less as we see, or what vendor is as we see uh, AMD make a move. And yes, I know that's x86, but ARM, ARM being everywhere, right? ARM being at HPE, ARM being at Amazon, uh, being at Azure, being at Google Cloud. Uh, who, you know, so instruction set is even mattering uh, less and less. When you package this up as an as a service appliance, it means even less. All you care about is the API. Um, I don't know if IBM is going to go for this. Uh, the second thing I'd love for them to do is take a stand, unleash this to the reseller community, do it under the Linux one, one brand. And I, most IBM Zs are taken through uh, what I would call a very high touch uh, reseller network. What I'm talking about are the resellers who drive tonnage. Okay. Then you might bring up, oh, well, what about profits? Listen, if you expand the TAM and expand the market uh, and drive Z, you know, I'm not going to say every workload you should throw at this that that X86 is currently, but take take SAP, take Mongo, take the multiple databases that 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 are out there that scream on this because this is a scale up architecture, not a scale uh, out architecture, but. It was good news. Uh, congratulations to Ross Mori and the team. Yeah, not a lot for me to add on that, Pat. I think you did a pretty good job of covering it. I think uh, lighter weight appliance, uh, you know, broadening the market, creating and expanding the TAM, making the capabilities. You know, the one inflection I would say is in a world where protecting the data, and especially in sensitive and highly regulated industries, is becoming more and more paramount with you know, a rise of ransomware attacks, a rise of other types of risks for companies. The 
ability for more companies to take advantage of this platform. And as IBM is hybridizing the platform and enabling Z to uh, you know, integrate in hybrid environments, things like hyper-protect and being able to move data safely from the mainframe and still have cloud architecture from an operating model standpoint, um, the company is going to widen its net, create more revenue opportunities, scale up. And of course, everyone knows that you, know, you need a lot of space to take advantage of mainframe technology. This creates an opportunity to do this with a small footprint. 